Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome to new subscribers and all the regulars. Um, it's lovely to um, speak to you again. I've got a couple of journals to share. Um, I've done a lot of crafting and there will be a lot of videos going up, um, probably far too many. <laughs> I'm still going out to work, I work part time in a GP surgery so I count as a key worker. Um, but I only do 18 hours a week. I don't enjoy housework, so I don't do a lot of that. Um, my husband doesn't mind so much, so he does some. Even though he's also working, he's full-time. Um, I suppose the other reason I craft a lot is mainly because I enjoy it. And at my age, I'm over 60, I feel life's too short not to do something you like doing. So there's um, quite a lot to share with you. Um, I do babble on a bit at the beginning of these videos and um, when they go up, they probably will go up out of sequence. So um, I suppose what I'm saying is ignore the beginning of all of the videos because they probably won't make a huge amount of sense. Um, initially, I was going to put um, all of these straight into the Etsy shop, but um, I haven't done that. And that's because the... I don't really want to overburden the postal service here or abroad if somebody does want to buy one of these journals. Um, they often go abroad and um, I don't know how that's operating really um, in, in other countries. So I will put these videos up when um, I feel the postal service can deal with it. Oh, not that it's for me to say and into the Etsy shop as well. Um, so, all that being said, um, I will tell you that I'm filming these in the fifth week of lockdown in the UK. So let's start with this one. These are both card covers. They're four and a half by eight and a half and they have around 64 sides in them. Um, these are made with a single sheet of thick cardstock. I've got... Um, muslin or sort of canvas muslin on the spine. Got these Tim Holtz book plates. They're quite fat, quite chunky. There's quite a lot in these. A mixture of um, old, uh, ephemera, vintage ephemera and um, a few, a few printouts, but I'll show you where they are. So this one is tufted vetch. I just like the way these little definitions look. Um, so we've got a pocket here and it's, um, I've stitched around, it is it is just single cardstock. It's quite thick, as I said, and I hoping, and I'm sure that this canvas will um, reinforce the spine. So this is a 1962 um, Building Society receipt two pence stamp on it. This is a little printout from Lorna at Tailor Made Journals. Um, I've popped that stamp on and made a little cluster there. This is some Kaiser Craft paper and I've just edged it with a little bit of um, masking paper and I think this is vintage tissue. On this side I had this part of an envelope um, I don't know why it was torn like this, but I've stuck it onto some old magazine paper to make a pocket. And there's just a tag in there. I don't know the date of this one, but obviously it's pretty old. And it's come from, um, I think, Columbia. Okay, it's a five cent stamp from Columbia. This is... Um, a printout from Amity Bloom. Um, this again is from Lorna, that's just stuck over the top. And I've used some book pages um, for the ephemera in some of these pockets. So this one is an English spring. This is more scrapbook paper. Uh, this is an envelope that I've split. Um, I think it was an envelope. Uh, there's a bit of old paper here and just a little bit of um, pattern paper on there. 
on this side I've got a tiny little pocket up here and a journal card. The pocket wasn't quite deep enough to hold it so I've used a paper clip. This is from 1869 and just a scrap that I had from um, a document. Uh, land title I think. This is the cover of one of those um, cigarette card albums and this is an 1899 magazine called Pick Me Up. Um, I've reinforced that with some washi. This is an old envelope um, and I've just done a little bit of fabric and embossing, dry embossing on there and in this there is um, a genuine cabinet card. That's just over that page. I like these the way these journals sort of layer up so you can see different different bits um, as you go through. This is just a simple sticker to pick up the um, colours here. In this pocket, I've got a tag. I use Tracy Fox labels throughout. I do that. Most of the things I make, I use those labels. I think they're absolutely brilliant. Um, this is washi tape to look like hinges on some old ledger. And I think this is from, oh, which is this ledger? It's either 1920 or 1899. This is the back um, of that envelope. So this um, envelope here, this is the back. And it's obviously wartime, probably First World War, um, because it's been um, censored and had a look at. It's just a little card. Pop that in upside down just for a change. And so you can see the tab. And this again is from Lorna's, one of Lorna's printouts. And I've got some lace on the bottom. It's a bit of fussy cutting and there's a little snippet tag tab and some beads and um, this is from that magazine I think this is places in London churches in London and um, that's just a flip out there this is more of the Amity Bloom printout as is this um, this is a page from that um, book. So we've got the traditions of England on this side from an American viewpoint. And this is Anne Hathaway's cottage. Um, that's Shakespeare's wife. Got another flip out here. And this is a pocket. So I've got a library card and um, a vintage playing card in there. Some of this pretty fabric. This was gifted to me by Angela Kerr. Um, this was um, an envelope. I remember what it was now. <laughs> a sort of, it, it's one that you um, fold it out. Uh, you write your letter and then you seal it. Um, so here we've got um, a pocket with 1901 solicitor's letter in there and I've just turned this into um, a belly band so this is from the cigarette card album um, this is the definition and I've joined it to one of Lorna's um, faux or not faux digital download um, Victorian calling cards So I've left, tried to leave a bit of writing space in this one. Um, another pocket here. And another page from that um, book. It's the other side of the old magazine. Um, this one, I think, is just a little double um, journal card. Don't do anything fancy with that one. And that's round the back of this old paper. Uh, I've 
got pocket here with um, Jemima Puddle Duck and an old postcard. It's actually a Christmas one, but not overtly Christmas. It does say Christmas greetings on it, but I liked the colours. I thought the colours went well. And this one I've got uh, black and white. A choice of gardener. Another snippet tag here. And then on the back, I've got one of my little um, collages with some embroidery on. They're very much inspired by Rachel of Roxy Creations. So that's Tufted Vetch. And thank you for watching and I'll do the next one.